John Respondi with MaxBoxing.com and seconds out, I'm speaking with the former heavyweight champion of the world, Berman Stavern. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stavern. <laughs> fought Deon Wild Deontay Wilder in January, lost the fight. You weren't really yourself, and, and uh, I want you to tell me again what happened that night. And I know you don't like to use it, it's not an excuse, but tell yeah. everybody what happened. I mean, it was, I was here, it was a weird night, you know? It, it, Explain it, was, it. It was a weird night. Well, I mean, you know, um, for years, I'm, not for years, maybe all my life, I'm not somebody that, that, that likes to drink. <laughs> That has to drink water or anything, you know, and um, it finally uh, caught up to me, you know. Uh, unfortunately, it was the, the night that I was uh, um, defending my title. Um, it was uh, it was a bad case. I didn't know it was that bad, but uh, I was told that uh, um, uh, my life was threatened. So after I heard that, I didn't really care about losing, losing the title. That <laughs> yeah, so, kind of puts it in perspective, doesn't it? Right, because I, I mean, I, I was, of, of course, I had a, 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 a nasty taste in my mouth uh, when I lost the title. Um, but after, uh, when it told me uh, I could have lost my life, I mean, I didn't. Um, uh, I think I uh, <laughs> cherished my life better than uh, <laughs> I love my life better than uh, uh, the title. Of course, I love the title, but you know, um, you know, uh, it was um, it was a bad, uh, bad uh, dehydration, uh, which is uh, now I'm taking care of. Uh, everybody's back on the team, and uh, I, got, I got my doctor and uh, my uh, dietitian that's on the team. I uh, see you uh, almost every day at camp. And uh, we're good to go right now. So I feel good, I'm good, I'm back, I'm, uh, I'm healthy. And um, this is just, uh, uh, just a little ways, a uh, couple months <laughs> before I, I get uh, this title back. Hey, you're fighting October 24th, correct? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You, and you, we were talking about it yesterday. Do you have a, an opponent yet, or is that well, going to be Well, it will be announced uh, uh, this week. It will, okay. Uh, like I said, I'm, it, this is not my uh, my, my demand. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to be in the gym and working out, so that's all I'm doing. And uh, whoever's taking care of uh, who I fight or the name or whoever they pick. Um, so be it. Um, I'm doing my job. I'm, I'm in the gym. Um, and um, I can't wait. This is just uh, 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 my first step to uh, uh, go back on top. You seem kind of like a laid back kind of guy. Do you, after a loss, you know, some fighters kind of learn after a loss and they say it actually re-motivates them to their career. Do you, do you feel like re-energized yes, now? Of course I am. I, I am because you know what? Um, one thing that, 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 that I do have uh, is I know what it took to get there. So I know, uh, so to get it back, all I gotta do is just put double the work or triple the work uh, 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 I did to, to get that title, uh, which I'm able to do and which I'm doing right now. Um, so uh, a lot of fighters, you know, they, they're on the way uh, up there, but don't know how to get there, uh, you know? So um, this is uh, gonna be, uh, I'm more motivated than anything else. I'm, very hungry. Uh, I'm put it by. I mean, every day I'm in the gym working hard, and this is what we're doing. Okay, a week before you, let's go and Fury, Fury the flappy mouthed one. Unlike you, he's always <laughs> flapping his mouth. You know, I want to ask you about that real quick because you're not a guy that says much. Now, do you do you think everybody has a theory about this? Do you think a guy that talks like that is trying to build his own confidence up, or is he? I mean, obviously, what he's saying to Fury isn't going to I mean, saying to Klitschko isn't going to bother him, right? So is Fury trying to build his own confidence up because of what he's facing? I mean, I'm not Fury, but I would say, at the end of the day, this, this is not a uh, Jeopardy. You know, it's not, it's not a, a battle or, or a rap battle. <laughs> you know, so at the end of the day, everything that happens will be resolved in the ring. So. Talking is not my demand. I don't like to talk really um, um, or try to intimidate people or threaten people and stuff like that. But that's not what I do. Um, I, I like to, 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 to uh, let my hands start talking. Uh, 
That's where I was raised. <laughs> yeah, everybody's at, I mean, I like it when guys are a little modest myself. Now, tonight, let's just talk about this just for a minute. Yes. Floyd Mayweather won a unanimous decision over your fellow countryman, right, Andre, Andre Berto. What do you think? Give me your impressions of the fight. Um, you know what, I, um, well, first of all, both of them are, <laughs> are my uh, That's true. friends of mine. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, uh, for the first time, I decided to, uh, you know, since I called myself the Haitian representative. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so I had to uh, jump uh, on, on the British boat, you know. Um, you know, I was very, I mean, you know, um, knowing Floyd, um, everybody knows that Floyd is the best fighter uh, uh, today in the power generation. Um, I was very proud of uh, Alberto. Alberto didn't uh, give up. Yeah. You know, most fighters would, after the eighth or ninth round, would have been like, I can't catch the band, you know. But he kept trying. He kept trying and gave us a, a tremendous show. Personally, I thought that uh, this fight was even was more competitive for Floyd than uh, the fight with Pacquiao. Yeah. It was a more entertaining fight. Uh, Berto actually called him a couple times, which you don't see really often. You know, uh, I'm proud, I was very proud of, of, of how uh, uh, Berto uh, represented uh, uh, us, so to speak. So tell me the last question. Yeah, October 24th, you're coming back. Yes, sir. Hey. Are you really? I mean, you probably believe, even though you don't show it, you're probably really excited about coming back. Is that true? I am. I am. I, this is like a, it's like a, a I don't know, a resurrection. Oh, yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm in the gym. I feel good. I came back. My body feels good. I'm, uh, my body is uh, the reaction. Of my body is very. Uh, I'm very proud with it. I'm, I'm very happy with it. You know, and, uh, I can't wait to uh, get back in the ring. You know, I, I've been. I've been. I've been to a lot of shows and I'm itching. And yeah. Tonight I was like, sure. Oh, right, right. <laughs> you know, uh, you didn't I was, show your stuff. I wanted, huh? I was, even yesterday I was at, at the weigh in and, you know, I, I had goosebumps and, you know, and I want to fight, you know. So these are all things that, you know, that, that, that shows me that, that, that I'm still, uh, 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 I still got the fire in me. Okay. Thanks a lot and good luck on the, uh, Thank you. the October 24th, Jim. Thank Appreciate you for doing this.